Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I am finally back with a new review. Still not feeling 100%, but I did want to get back to doing videos. So today's review is going to be on the NECA Ultimate Rob Zombies The Monsters The Count figure. So before we take a look at the count, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with a set of open hands. Up next, he comes with a set of fisted hands. Up next, he comes with an alternate open right hand for holding his cane and his cane. And he actually holds this very well. It has some really cool sculpt and paint detail to the top there on the skull. And that looks very nice. Up next, he comes with alternate accessory holding hands and this shovel to put in his hand. And this shovel actually has some very nice sculpt and silver paint to the end of it there. That looks really good. I do wish the handle here would have had a little bit of sculpt detail to it, like some wood grain detailing. But overall, it still does look pretty good. Up next, he comes with his real fabric cape. And this looks amazing. It's made of a very, very nice material. It drapes very nicely on the figure. You can see on the back it's black right there. And on the inside it's red. And that looks really good. The top piece right here is plastic and the fabric is glued underneath that. But this looks really good. I do think it's kind of odd that NECA chose to do this. Because if I remember right in the promo pictures he actually had a wired cape. I think I'd prefer this though because it just drapes really nicely on the figure. It lays very well on him. Bendy wire would have been nice, but like I said, I think this looks just as good. And finally, he comes with an alternate side eye head sculpt. This expression is more serious than his main head sculpt. And NECA did an amazing job on this. The likeness to Daniel Roebuck is uncanny. It really looks like a miniature version of Daniel Roebuck as the Count. It's crazy how good this head sculpt looks. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the main head sculpt. So the main head sculpt, this one has a smile on his face and is less serious than the alternate one. And like I said, this is an uncanny likeness of Daniel Roebuck as the Count. It looks very nice. The way that NECA printed on the gray there on his hair, it looks spectacular. Even the gray printed on his mustache and huge eyebrows looks very nice. You even get some variation in skin tone painted on there. That looks amazing. I do have one complaint though, and it's this part in his hair. For NECA using such nice print details all over the figure, this is a solid painted line. I think that's a little distracting. I think they should have printed that on to make it a little more subtle. But other than that, this head sculpt looks phenomenal. The rest of the figure looks very nice as well. You can see his medallion right there is painted on a very nice gold collar. He has some nice wrinkles sculpted there on his clothing. The one weird thing is he has really glossy elbow joints right there compared to the matte finish of the rest of the figure. Would have been nice if this would have been a flat kind of collar. I forgot to mention that when you're switching the hands out, a bunch of black paint will chip off of these hands. It's actually scuffed the plastic on the inside up just a little bit. You can see the scuffing right there. So that does suck. Certain angles, you'll actually be able to see it. For the most part, it's hidden. But let me put his hand back on. If you have it up like that, you will see the paint chipping and the, the paint rubbing right there. So that does suck. It's very subtle but his pants have some slight texturing to them. Still looks very nice. He has some nice glossy black shoes, just like his glossy black gloves. And then there's the back of the figure, sculpted equally as nice. So now, let's go ahead and go over his articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can look up very slightly. He can't really look down at all, even without this one. Uh, he still really has hindered articulation there. He can move side to side very nicely though. He has shoulders that can move all the way out. Single jointed elbows that can bend in just about all the way. Swivel thrust that can move side to side and up and down very nicely. A ball jointed diaphragm that can move back very slightly. Forward very slightly. Side to side very nicely. He has ball jointed hips that can do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way. He can kick back all the way. He has a swivel at the thigh, single jointed knee, swivel at the ankle that can move down all the way, up all the way, and an ankle rocker that can move just a little bit. Oh, and there's also a joint up in here that can move side to side. So now, let's do some size comparisons. First up, here he is next to Herman, and Herman is much taller than him. And finally, there he is next to Zombo. So overall, I would highly, highly recommend picking this up because this is another stellar NECA Monsters figure. 
NECA just did an amazing job on this, and the likeness is uncanny. The likeness is very, very good. I hope that Lily Munster drops soon. She was supposed to drop at the same time as Herman and the Count. It's weird that she's been delayed so long. I haven't heard anything about her. But yeah, hopefully we get her soon to complete the trio, because this line is amazing. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.